In this brief video, you're going to discover how to use walking to lose weight. Walking has become a huge phenomenon in these recent years and for good reasons. First off, walking is for the most part a very effective and safe fat burning exercise that almost anyone can participate in and virtually anywhere. It's very low impact when compared to running which is very stressing on your leg muscles and joints. Just look around and notice how many people are out walking. You see them during their lunch breaks pounding the pavement. You really can lose weight by walking an hour a day. Heck, you can lose weight by walking 30 minutes every day. The most important point is that you get out there and do it. If you want to use walking as a vehicle to lose weight, you have to set goals that work for you. You may want to learn some things before getting started. Walking is a good way to lose weight and is a great workout routine. However, to achieve your goals, you must establish a plan that's flexible enough that will allow you to stick with it. Walking is just as beneficial as running. These days you see everyone walking instead of running since the world has realized that they can burn just as many calories by taking a brisk walk. Some people speed walk, which is a brisk walk that works the muscles toning them while the walker burns calories. How do you walk your way to fitness? All great accomplishments begin with goal setting. I know that for some this is a boring process, but it's been proven to work more times than not. You must set your walking goals so that you will have a road map that you can follow. This road map will guide and keep you on track as you walk your way to weight loss. An example goal would be, I'd like to be able to walk for two to three miles nonstop within 30 days. Once you hit that goal, then up your game by either decreasing the amount of time it takes to walk those two to three miles or increase your walking distance to four miles. Do not underestimate the power of goal setting. You should also know that overdoing it could discourage you. Instead of trying to walk a marathon at first, walk slow as you normally would. Slowly work into a brisk walk. Overdoing it can also cause damage. You may pull muscles which causes serious pain. The pain may discourage you from wanting to walk again, so take it nice and slow. Start the first week only walking about 25 minutes for five days and slowly go from there. During the second week, walk for 25 minutes the first day and advance your speed, walking for about two minutes. Add one minute every week, then maybe you can start walking up hills. This will help you to burn calories faster, which means you'll hit your fitness goals sooner here are some safety tips that you might want to consider when walking. Tip 1. Walk with one or more people to increase your safety. Tip 2. Walk in well-lighted locations if walking at night. Tip 3. Avoid walking toward oncoming traffic if possible. Tip 4. Avoid walking in parks at night and other secluded places. After watching this brief video, do you think that you can really lose weight by walking an hour a day? Absolutely you can. I'm a firm believer in keeping things simple and if you are willing to put in a measly 30 to 60 minutes per day of walking you can begin dropping your unwanted body fat. You only need a good pair of walking shoes to help protect your feet leg muscles and joints from the low impact of walking. Seriously, start today 
as you don't need any special equipment. Click the link below to get more information.